Hello YouTube, how you doing there? This is Birdman316. I want to share something with you guys. Something came in the mail today. Yes. Yep, yeah, a box. But is it an empty box? It is now. These are the Freebie, Freebie VR01 goggles. FPV goggles 5.8. These are, they came from GearBest. I'm not exactly, not exactly sure of the price. I think it's $55. But if you use the RC18 off, you can get that knocked down to about 51 ish, 52. But by the time you, you get your shipping and insurance, well, maybe it's lower than that. By the time you get your shipping and insurance and everything, like I always get insurance on every anything you order. So in case something happens to it, it's covered and it gets replaced. But anyway, it's right around, I think it's around 53 with insurance and everything. Total price, everything. Very cheap shipping, 53 bucks. I mean, these things here, I got some more just like them. I'll get those out and show them to you in a minute. But these has a dual diversity antennas. I hope these hope you're picking this up. Now I'm not exactly sure, but on my other goggles, I got the square antenna on the right. In other words, when they're on my face is on the right. And the little mushroom clover leaf on the left. So I already already tried these out on these little girls right here. Small pecker. And this one here is actually the very same thing as the F36 by Furibee, which this version is the Ghoul RC T36, but I have blue blades in here now to match the sticks on the transmitter that I'm using. But anyway, I flew both, both these birds with these goggles a little while ago, and man, I tell you, they feel just as good, they look just as good as my Google RC VR HD 01s or whatever they're called. I have the manual, but also all that to you, all that to you in a minute. Let me show you the manual right quick. It comes with this little little video cable right here, which I'll probably never use it. It comes with it anyway. This is all the instructions, all the instructions that came with, which it's not really instructions, but it. It gives you like an overview of what the buttons do. So when I got these, I plugged them in. Of course, anytime you get any goggles or anything, put these antennas on before you even think about putting power on there because you can cook something in here. So I put the antennas on first. Then I powered it up with a tarantula battery. 7.4 2S tarantula battery. Worked perfect. Got the JST connector on there. And you have your JST connector right here as well. You can get me see that. And I powered them on and I got a blue screen and up there, up there in the left corner it says AV. So I thought, hmm, how do I activate these things? Let's see. So I plugged in a quad and, and I started monkeying with the buttons. I think I pushed, I think I pushed this one and nothing happened. I pushed this one and then I got a squiggly picture. Then I this right here is your auto search for my thumb. That my left thumb is right inside the mushroom. That's the auto search. I auto searched and I matched the channel, which is Adam Seven. All my quads are on Adam Seven, A Seven, Adam Seven. But anyway, that's how I did that. Now the, the let me show you something on the front here. Now those of you that wear glasses, as long as your glasses aren't too big, I think these will be just fine because. These, I don't wear glasses or anything, but they fit on my face. I can wear these things all day long. They are nice. I like them a lot. It's not a very, not a very expensive goggle either. It has, let's see, what does it have here on the resolution? Resolution, the screen size is 4.3 inch and the resolution is 480 by 272. But hey, I mean, it, it looks good to me. And I haven't touched the brightness, I haven't touched the contrast, I haven't touched anything. 
all I did was I found the channel and away I went in the air. Now this thing right here, they didn't come with the goggles. It's some kind of cleaning cloth that came with something else. It might have came with a camera or something, I forget. But you can use it to clean, get any dust and whatnot off the screen in here. The little, uh, I guess you call it the plastic viewing panel. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I need to clean my other ones too with this cloth here. Let me get my other ones right quick and I'll show you. And these puppies might as well be twins. Let me go get the other ones. I'll be right back. Alrighty, Birdman is back. This is the manual for my Ghoul RCs. And if I read it like I did those, resolution screen size 4.3 inch, resolution 480 by 272. Sound familiar? Well, check it. Check it. Yeah. Two tone. This is all one color. Same thing. The buttons are placed in the same place. Let me show you. So you can see what these buttons are. Get off of there, you piece of dust. Go away. You can see the buttons are on these. Search button. You got your channel and band, and I think the um, menu, I think. On those, that's the Google RCs. And check this out. Auto search, menu, channel, and I think band. And this is where you plug your power cable in. And it has like a little clip on the side so you won't be jerking and snatching it by the by the port. And uh, just plug the transfer battery in there and then set it beside you or set it in your lap or if you're standing. I guess you make sure you're wearing a shirt with a pocket. Just drop the battery in your shirt and everything is cool. But these, these right here is the same thing except for it's got the two-tone case. But everything else is the same and... Hey, I think I paid like 55 for these uh, last spring. So I paid two bucks less for these, but I mean, they, I like these so much. <laughs> I got some more. But anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you. These goggles fit really good. They're not uncomfortable at all. I can wear them all day long. And if you wear glasses, as long as your glasses aren't too big, it, it should be fine. So my friends, my education on my whooping is continuing. This is the 9th, April 9th, and I first started training on March the 12th. I've been flying every single day, at least four times a day, maybe more. Maybe three, four, five, and sometimes six times a day, a few before work and a few after work, and I'm rotating three birds the two peppers and um, this one right here I was flying the green one the F-80 but something happened to it I think uh, it's having serious issues power issues or something I've been told the flight board is toast it's uh, defective or something but hey it is what it is you can't do anything about it except get a new board for it and, and keep on flying I guess you know but, but anyway as they say, whatever, just fix it and keep on flying. That's all you can do. So I'm guessing my month anniversary is coming up of flying FPV whooping in the house and all. And I'm probably thinking I can take my cell phone and stuff it in one of these goggles and wear the other goggles and do another recording. I did one recording where I was really, really rough. I was, I was, I'm still bouncing off stuff but I'm trying crazy things that's why I'm bouncing off of stuff but now before was when I first started I'm nowhere near being an expert so to speak I'm still a rookie as far as I'm concerned I'm, I'm doing better I mean I'm, I can cruise around in the house fly around but I'm trying stuff let me get this camera and I'll show you what I'm trying here I'm actually see that table right there I'm flying around the legs and even trying to fly through that top section right there see that little top section and i can fly this way going this way no problem and then turn around that way 
And a while ago, let me show you something. A while ago, that's why I got my cabinets open. I actually flew in from this side here, came around, went around that pole here, and kind of, kind of bounced off here, but still made it out. And also, I've been trying to go through the shelf here, you know, through the, through the shelves there, stuff like that. And I had a stampede in one of my monster trucks sitting on the floor the other day. And I actually flew the thing under the chassis before the tires were on there. But it was a bumpy ride. I bounced off the tires a little bit. But hey, somehow a miracle happened and I made it out the other side. And, and flew away. Well, you know, you know what I mean. Recovered and kept flying. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and girls and all that good stuff. This is Birdman 316 with a, I guess you can say it's an after unboxing of the Furry Bee VR01 goggles and comparing them to the Ghoul RC, let me look at the name, VR HD01 goggles. I love them both. They're awesome. 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 This is Birdman316. Everyone have a wonderful day and night wherever you are on Earth. Sayonara.